Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to an example of a second order reaction to get a little bit more of a feel for how this works. So first of all we have an equation where we have uh, two moles of nitrogen dioxide. It's in a gas format then uh, changes into nitrogen monoxide and oxygen gas. And so the observed rate for this equation, it's a second order equation, it's equal to minus one half times the change in the nitrogen dioxide concentration divided by the change in time and it's equal, can we said equal to the uh, rate constant times the concentration of nitrogen dioxide squared. So let's solve this equation. Again, we'll put that into a differential form. So we can write, and we'll take the two and move it to the other side. So we can write this as minus the change in the concentration of nitrogen dioxide uh, as a function of time is equal to two times the rate constant times the concentration of the nitrogen dioxide squared. So now we move the dt over there and the nitrogen dioxide down here. So this can be written as minus the change of the nitrogen dioxide divided by the nitrogen dioxide squared, concentration squared equals uh, 2k times dt. And of course we write this as the change of the nitrogen dioxide concentration times the concentration of the concentration of nitrogen dioxide to the minus 2 power, which is equal to 2k times dt. Now we're ready to integrate this, so we can integrate both sides. So when we do that, we get, uh, uh, so this is the differential, this we integrate, so we add one to the exponent, divide by a new exponent, so we get minus the concentration of nitrogen dioxide squared to the minus 1 power divided by the new exponent, this is equal to 2k times t. And of course the negatives cancel out and then we can write this as 1 over the concentration of nitrogen dioxide is equal to 2kt. And notice here that the slope is twice the, um, the rate constant and so if we were to graph that it would look like this. So we'll have some initial concentration and the slope in this case will be equal to 2k the horizontal axis is time and the vertical axis is 1 over the concentration of nitrogen dioxide gas. Like that. All right, now, what if we want to, do, oh, I, I forgot something. I have to add the, constant, the uh, constant of integration, of course. And we know then, of course, that the concentration, that the, uh, that the um, concentration of the nitrogen dioxide gas, gas when t is equal to zero is equal to the initial concentration. So that means that C is equal to 1 over the initial concentration of the nitrogen dioxide gas, initial, which goes in here, and that becomes 1 over the initial nitrogen dioxide concentration, like so. Now, for example, let's say that the initial concentration, uh, let's say that NO initial, uh, nitrogen dioxide initial, is equal to, let's say, 0 0.01 molar. And so then the, initial, then the concentration after a half-life has gone by, the, the time that it requires to go to half its original concentration, so let's say that this was equal to 1,000 seconds, so when time is equal to 1,000 seconds, we have now gone to half its original concentration, so the NO2 after a half-life has gone by is not equal to one-half the original concentration, NO2 original like that. So that means that if the concentration was 0 0.01 molar at this point, it would now be half of that. So now this would be 0 0.005 molar. All right, so one over that. So if we take one over this number, one over 0 0.01 molar, that would be equal to 100. And then one over 0 0.005, that would then be equal to 200. So you can see that there's still a linear relationship to the inverse of the function. So 1 over this is 100, 1 over half the concentration is 200 and so forth, and that's where your linearity comes from, even though this is a second order reaction. So in this case, for a thousand seconds, the concentration goes from what it was initially to half the concentration after that. And so you can then kind of draw the slope, and you can see that the difference here would be equal to 100, and then the time here would be equal to 1,000 seconds. And from that, we could actually figure out what the k is equal to because we know that the slope is equal to the rise over the run. So in this case, the slope, which is equal to 2k, 
is equal to the rice, which is 100, divided by the run, which is 1,000, which is equal to 0 0.1. That would be, of course, 2K, and therefore K is equal to 0 0.1 divided by 2, which is equal to 0 0.05. And so that is how you can find the rate, the rate constant of such a reaction. All right, and that's how we work with second-order reactions.